Hello customers, fellow gas engineers. I'm here at a Feroli Optimac 25C. We have a pressure relief valve that's passing. That's the pressure relief valve pipe, which goes into this tun dish. And we've got a bit of water dripping through the tun dish. So I'm isolating the flow there, isolating the return there. I'm gonna drain the boiler down. Before I drain the boiler, I locate the Schrader valve on the expansion vessel, take the cap off, Attach the hose to the drain valve on the bottom of the boiler. I'm draining the boiler through that hose into my bucket. I'm putting some silicon grease on the Schrader valve. As I'm going to pump the expansion vessel up, as this will innate, this will aid draining the boiler. As I repressurize the expansion vessel, it will push out any excess water from the boiler, and will make removing the pressure relief valve easier, and we won't have water coming out anywhere. Right, it's a bit of a tricky spot where this Schrader valve is, so I'm just trying to connect my pump now. No jokes in the comments on my pumping technique. It takes quite a bit of pumping, this expansion vessel. Probably could have done with a foot pump. Yeah, hard work that was. Or is still hard work. What a bit of a workout. And we're finally there. We've got zero pressure on the boiler and just under one bar on the expansion vessel. So that's what we want. Well, I've got a bit of a sweat on. Pull the hats off. While pumping the expansion vessel up, that will have just pushed any excess water out of the boiler through that drain uh, rubber hose that I've got connected to the drain, drain off. So the boiler should be pretty dry now inside. I'm just putting a little bit of leak detection fluid on the Schrader valve, make sure that's not passing. The silicon grease that I put on prior to pumping it up hopefully 
people that helped the little strade, the little the little valve in the strader valve, the little there's a little o-ring in there from from drying and sticking and then passing, which would have been an absolute pain if that had started passing. As it would have been tricky to replace. Anyway, seems okay. We're putting the little cap back on. This boiler is about 15 years old. Actually, probably a little bit older than that. It probably was since about 2008, so well, 15, 16 years old. Still going. One of the first condensing boilers. Right, there's the pressure relief valve. And we turn it. When the boiler gets to three bar, that red dial that I just turned, turns like that, clicks, releases water through that pressure relief pipe, You'll and then you'd see it go down that ton dish, and your pressure would go from three, or over three, to zero. But this pressure relief valve is just slowly dripping now. And that's due to it having muck on the seating. So rather than replace this pressure relief valve, I'm just gonna clean it and put it back together. So we're just we're gonna we're just gonna remove the head of it. I just had the grippers then, just on that black section. And then that actually just unscrews out of the brass body. Right, it's left a little section inside of the brass body, which we'll retrieve in a second. There'll be a washer in there, or a sort of ring and a rubber section. There we go. That rubber section, that will need cleaning because that is actually the bit that sits against the brass. Um, seating and that's the bit if there's any muck on the brass seating or on that rubber section that's what's going to cause it to, to leak a little bit and then your pressure will drop slowly as well so that's your seating there that little raised bit of brass when your pressure relief valve clicks open it then it pops back down onto that any muck gets caught on that or yeah it won't sit tight and it will just let water slowly pass through and out of the boiler and out of your system so that's that's a that's a new one there so that's how it should look so i'm just going to give it a little clean with a screwdriver you can just literally scrape any bits off not the best camera angle there i'm afraid i'm sorry but yeah, just literally just got to scrape the, scrape the seat in a little bit, make sure it's uh, got no bits on it and it's not damaged in any way. Otherwise, yeah, just, just buy a new one. But buying a new one, again, if you, you can just then replace the head. You don't, you don't have to replace that. that whole body you don't have to remove that from the boiler if you don't want or you can it's completely up to the engineer right we're cleaning this little rubber section now got some water in my t-shirt just just 
get in any muck off it. When you look on this little rubber section, you'll see the markings of the brass seating on on it. You'll see where it's been sat on on the brass seating. There's sort of an indentation, so look, you can sort of see where how it how it sits. So it's all nice and clean now. I'm gonna put some silicone grease on it as well, just as a little extra. We don't want it leaking. So there you go. It's like a little hat. Yeah, there we go. Pressure relief valve hat. Really, you could put that that little hat and the little ring back on the pressure relief valve before you screw it back into the brass body. For some reason, I'm, I'm putting the hat and the ring in first there, which I really don't know why I'm doing that. And then, and then now, I'm gonna put the pressure relief valve into it. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, but I don't know why I've done it that way. Because I could sort of knock, knock that ring a little bit as I'm pushing it in. Anyway, it worked. I get it, managed to get it in. I will admit, I did feel a bit of pressure doing this little video. This is the first time I've used my tripod for my um, camera phone. Just be careful over tightening this now. I mean, it is only a plastic section that you that you've got the grips on you tightening into the brass so you don't want to crack it right hose off the drain valve close the drain valve with basically just a radiator bleed key which is nice and straightforward a bit like what you'd get on a baxi open the flow Open the return, repressurize the system boil and the boiler all together. This boiler has an external automatic air vent which you'll see in a minute. Most boilers, they're inside now. Um, it's actually closed, so I just quickly open that so we can get any air out. I'm just going to remove the pressure relief valve pipe because, because it's full of water from previously dripping. It's quite hard to tell if it's still dripping in the tun dish now. So by removing the pipe, we can actually just check the pressure relief valve with a bit of tissue, make sure there's actually no new water coming out of it, nice and dry. Thanks for watching.